Hi, what's up? I'm taking a break from my videos about zany tips and advice so I can talk about a movie I saw recently. And that movie is Zootopia. At first, when I saw the trailers for these movies, I wasn't really impressed with it because, well, let's see. I never got into most animal movies. Well, not all animal movies were bad. I mean, like, you have good ones like Kung Fu Panda, and then you have bad ones like Chicken Little. So I was like not too invested with it. But as I saw more trailers out, out like recently, and I started to like maybe open to the movie. And when I saw like Shakira's video, like Try Everything, I really wanted to see this movie because the song is just like freaking awesome. And I kept like playing it on repeat, like whenever the chance I get. And I just thought about. Well, why not? Why don't I just see this movie and give it a try? And surprisingly, a lot of people like this movie and I had to find out. And it's surprising because I never thought it would be good at all. And there were like reactions to this. Like it got like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes like before it came out. And then like after I saw it, I'm like, it's like 98, so it has to be like that good. And this is the kind of rating Star Wars The Force Awakens had, and now I have to see it. Now you wonder what the plot about this movie is, right? Well, it starts off with Judy Hopps, who's a bunny, and she's played by Jennifer Goodwin. She wants to be a cop, but most people say she can't do it because, well, she's... Let me put this in a sensitive way. She can't... They say she can't do it because she's a bunny, and bunnies aren't, like, predators or strong. But she proves them wrong, and she like overcomes that by doing her own thing like being faster than others and using people's strength against them and that's actually kind of a smart thing to do for a character like she, she doesn't have to be like other people she has to she just be herself but in her own unique way and that's like typical in any Disney movie but it works after she graduates from the police academy she goes to Zootopia where she meets Nick Wilde played by Jason Bateman and he's like a fox con artist and well they don't exactly get along first you know, because it's a Disney movie slash cop movie. But they team up so they can, like, solve a mystery about missing animals in the city. After seeing Zootopia, I just have to say one word. Awesome. It's freaking awesome. And this is actually a good start for Disney for 2016 because, well, I've been seeing a couple good movies like Kung Fu Panda 3 and Deadpool, and... I am planning to see like a lot of good movies throughout 2016 and I hope I don't see any bad ones. So I pray Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad are good. Don't fuck up DC. This movie was so good that I love Shakira's song Try Everything. I played on like repeat through a drive to like Lake Elsinore and it was like worth it because I was like stuck in traffic and I hated it but that song Try Everything was like my mantra for 2016. And, yes, I will say that it's better than Let It Go. <laughs> yes, I said Try Everything by Shakira is better than Let It Go. Both Demi Lovato song and Indina Menzel song. And no disrespect, but this is my favorite Disney song so far, 2016. And to all the Frozen lovers out there, don't hate. I'm going to explain the themes about the movie. And this is the kind of movie where it talks about prejudice and stereotypes in a very good way. Some of these, some other movies out there don't do it very well, like, like Percy Jackson and like that movie about the sea monsters. That was a like a bad way to like talk about prejudice. But for Zootopia, this is like one of the best movies to teach kids about prejudice and stereotypes. In this movie, people think prey aren't the strongest or like, aren't they aren't better than predators? But for Judy Hopps, she's trying to prove to the world that like. She can try to do something else than be the weak rabbit that people say she is. And it actually like works because she tries to prove to be stronger and, well, better than all the predators who try to come at her. As for Nick, he wanted to be like a boy scout as a kid and it plays into his character because when he tried to be a boy scout, it's mostly for prey, but he wanted to be like the first predator to be a boy scout. However, they didn't see it that way, and they just say, you're just a predator, and you'll be nothing more than that. And it's like a really sad scene if you see the movie. However, by meeting Judy and 
Judy rubbing, rubbing off on Nick, they break their stereotypes throughout the movie and they realize they can be more than what people say they are. One thing about this movie that I like is how prejudice and stereotypes work. Some people like, believe into their prejudices and stereotypes because, well, fear gets the best of people and with Judy fears like a fox as a kid, she thinks like Nick is like a predator and like a bad person because of past experiences. So this is like a good opportunity to show why people feel the way they, they do about when they com like commit prejudices and and like get into their stereotypes and stuff like that. Some kids shows and like movies talk about prejudice and stereotypes, but they never explain why these things happen or like how they develop and like how they affect the character. And with a movie like Zootopia, it does this perfectly. With the introduction to Judy's past, to Nick's past, you get to learn like why they want to break out of their molds or like why they stick to their molds or whatever. And also, there's like a point in the movie where people like give in to fear and believe in like certain stereotypes, like predators are all bad and in a sense I feel like this is the whole I get like a feeling about Black Lives Matter because this is how like cops would see black people, like how white cops would like hurt black people because they just give into like the whole stereotypes that black people are bad or whatever or like the prejudices of like they think they're better than them and I'm not making any assumptions but I had a feeling that has an element to it there but I don't know how too far so I'm not gonna like cause any more talk about this because I I know some of things about this kind of stuff but not too much so the thing about prejudice and stereotypes in this movie is that it's well developed and it helps with the story and like builds like the mythos for this world of the movie and it helps like move the characters like plot along and this is like one of the best movies to teach a kid, your kids about like prejudice and stereotypes they they can hurt a person and I recommend this movie to for, for any kid who wants to learn about this kind of issue I want to talk about the positives about this movie well first off the animation is amazing and it's one of the few movies where like like they create this world of this weave beautifully like there's like a couple districts here and there like a snow district, a desert district, or a rainforest district and it molds well with like with the mythos they're trying to build for Zootopia and it's also kind of like a metaphor for like how like places like New York City have like a bunch, a bunch of different districts with like different types of people and backgrounds and it actually fits, fits well with the movie and on a positive note I love the relationship between Judy and Nick and for some reason I thought they were gonna get together but then again that'd be a little weird since they're like a, a fox and a rabbit but then again you have Shrek where a donkey and a dragon get together so miracles could have happened but I just their friendship is so infectious even when they fight is kind of cute and what I like is that Nick's not really much of a dick to Judy as he is as he is as like what other people would say what I'm trying to get at is that well he sort of teaches her like the not everything is black and white and sometimes the world can be like a doggy dog world out there and it may seem mean but he has a point that well, for, for Judy she lives on a farm where like she thinks goodness will win and you know hire the cards and believe it and never surrender but the thing about like when Judy goes to Zootopia she realizes that the world sucks sometimes and it's gonna make you feel depressed like 24 7 here and there However, Judy does rub off on Nick saying that like there's, there can be good things for him because he doesn't have to be like the predator people say he is and he doesn't have to be like into that stereotype of a fuck where you have to lie and cheat. And one thing I like is that he's really smart about being a con artist. Like he doesn't exactly lie about what he's doing. He like, let's just say like he tried to buy a giant like popsicle to melt and sell for like for, to other places and he makes more money and then he sells that to like rodents of little rodentia which is like eh, whatever. another thing about the movie is that i love the in jokes in these movies like i'm not a fan of breaking bad but they had a like a breaking bad reference and seriously if you've seen breaking bad you'll know this is a breaking bad reference like they call the dudes like in the movie like these dudes in the movie like goats or whatever and they're called walt and jesse 
that's like a most poignant out like Breaking Bad reference and this kind of thing doesn't work in a kids movie but then again it's only like a quick like a quick thing and it actually works fine. Alan Tudyk is like in this movie and he's like making a score to be in a lot of Disney movies like Wreck-It Ralph, Big Hero 6, Frozen and they do play into the pun of the whole Duke of Wesselton thing because his character's name is like Duke Weaselton. And while they pronounce it like Wesselton in the movie, he corrects them by saying it's it's Weaselton. And wow, this joke is a lot better than the one on Frozen because, ugh, don't get me started on this character because his character sucks. Oh, and another thing I didn't know in this movie is that Josh Dallas and Tristan Bell are in this movie. And I would have known that until I saw the Wikipedia. And while Josh Dallas's role isn't exactly like big, because from what I've read, his character's name is Frantic Pig. Kristen Bell plays a character like who's related to this like Godfather character, and she actually kind of helps the characters in a way. You see, Judy saves her life like earlier in the movie, and then when the Godfather character decides he wants to axe Judy and like Nick for like reasons of whatever. She actually like sees Judy and be like, hey, this is the girl that saves my life. And the Godfather actually pays her respects towards Judy and Nick and decides to like, I'll help you out and I'll like, not kill you. So, and dang, they're getting like some cameos that I didn't even know about. Like with Josh Dallas, I don't know like how he got into this movie. Well, then again, he is like, when Once Upon a Time, it's like an ABC and they're owned by Disney. And the fact that his wife's like in the movie, so. Maybe he just wanted to do something with his wife. Another good thing I like about this movie is Shakira. And, well, I haven't been a Shakira fan for in a while. I mean, I did like one of her songs, like, Underneath Your Clothes or whatever. They're, and that whole, like, whatever, wherever. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been, like, been a Shakira fan. This, her song is amazing. Try everything. It's, like, my mantra for 2016 to, like, be better and, like, do your best and, like, keep like trying things and never give up, which fits with Judy's character in the movie. And there's like one, and she's also in the movie too. And she plays a gazelle and her name's Gazelle, so yeah. And it's actually like, tried to make her look like Shakira, you know, with the curves and the hair and... Wow, this, and she's kind of pretty, really, but not, this is sort of feeling a piece of the thing here and there, but I'm maybe looking too deep into this. I'm gonna talk about the bad. Actually, I really don't want to talk about the bad because this movie is awesome, and there's not a lot. There's not a lot of bad things in this movie. I like everything, I like the, the characters, the animation. I love some of the jokes here and there, and the music. It, Shakira's awesome. I don't know how many times I can say that, but this song's been on repeat both my whole weekend, so I'm loving this song. However. I have to say one thing that's bad, it's Idris Elba as like the chief, like the chief bull or whatever, or water buffalo, I don't know the animal, but he's the chief of police, and in these kind of movies, the chief of police is supposed to be like the funniest or like likable character, like you ever seen Ice Cube in like 21 and 22 Jump Street, or the commissioner, for, or the police like officer leader for Bad Boys 1 and 2, they're hilarious and likable, however, Idris Elba is kind of a dick in this movie, and not in a good way. It just seems like he doesn't give a shit about what he's doing about his job. I mean, here's he, he does some good cop stuff here and there, but it just seems like he doesn't put any effort to do like some stuff. He, and he does butt heads with Judy, but he's kind of a dick. In the end, Zootopia is great. Go see it while you can. I'm Zachary, ready to entertain the world with Zane and Intrigue.